Hey there, tech fans. Today I have the TP-Link LS-108GP 8-port PoE switch. This product allows you to connect eight different peripherals to your network and provides full PoE coverage for all those peripherals that need that power over Ethernet functionality. Now, before I get too deep into all the things this product provides, because it's got a couple of cool features you'll want to hear about, I thought I'd start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the product, and then I'll take some time and talk about the product itself. I'll give you the specifications, and I want to specifically talk about why this switch is different than other PoE switches on the market, because TP-Link has built in a couple of features that I think you'll really appreciate, plus the pricing is really good on this one compared to a lot of other switches that do similar things. I'll also take a closer look at the unit and I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. And then I'll come back one more time and again remind you of some of the things that you need to pay attention to if you're in the market for a PoE switch. But let's get started with the unboxing first. So when you first pop open the box, you'll find the switch. You'll find a massive power supply. Now, the reason this is so big is it not only has to provide power for the switch, but it also provides power for all the PoE peripherals that are connected to the switch. So it's bigger than you'd expect, and it comes with an AC cord that you can use to plug it into the wall. You'll find also some rubber feet for the bottom of the unit. Now you can mount this on the wall. There are little openings on the bottom where you can hang it on a couple of screws or nails, but if you want to set it down in your desktop, you might want to use these feet, which will keep it in place and help protect the surface you set it down on. And finally, a full instruction manual is also included that explains everything you'll want to know about this particular switch. So always read through that manual because even though this is a plug and play device, understanding how it works and some of the features it provides can benefit you is really important. All right, so let's talk about the switch. Now, if you don't know what PoE is, switches in days gone by were basically LAN connectors. And all they did was if you had a router in your home, you could normally connect a single computer to that router. If you needed to connect more devices, like a second computer or a printer or anything else that connected over your network, you needed a switch like this to expand that. So you can think of this as sort of an AC box that you plug into a wall outlet that provided eight additional outlets that you could plug a fan and other things into. It's the same thing for a network connection. That was the old days. Since then, a new concept called power over ethernet has been introduced where the switch can actually provide power over that LAN connection. So it not only makes a connection to the device, but it provides power for that device. And the reason that's important is because a lot of new peripherals have been released that use power over cable. And what that allows you to do is not worry about powering something at the remote end because the LAN connection sends that power over the ethernet connection to that device. For example, if you've got maybe security cameras at home that are PoE enabled, you can mount them on the wall, make a network connection to a switch like this, and the power for that camera will be sent over that LAN connection. So it's important to find a switch that has a couple of really interesting specifications so you can support all those peripherals. So basic functionality of eight ports on here, all of them are active, they're all one gig ethernet. So they're fast as most home computers and most home networks are, so you're compatible with your home network they're all PoE enabled. And that's important because some switches on the market that have eight ports only provide power to six or four of those ports. So knowing you've got all eight ports with PoE capability means you can plug anything you want into all eight ports and it's gonna get plenty of power. The next thing to keep in mind is how powerful the switch is. And that depends on the power supply and the internal technology. This unit provides a total of 65 watts of power to all those eight peripherals. And more importantly, individually, it can provide up to 30 watts for each of the ports. And the reason that's important is because, let's say you have a security camera mounted on the roof or on the peak of your house, which is quite a distance away from the switches in your basement. You wanna make sure that you get plenty of power to that camera to be able to use that device. This unit can send that power up to 820 feet away. And those are specifications you'll wanna compare with other switches because you never know what you're gonna plug in. It could be a security camera today, it might be a smart speaker tomorrow, could be a lot of different things because it seems like a lot of the appliances we're using in our home nowadays and a lot of the security things we're plugging in all need power over ethernet. So having a switch like this that can deliver that is really important. All right, that's pretty much it for the switch. Now there are two other features in here. One of them is an auto recovery, which is important because if you have trouble with one of those peripherals, for whatever reason, it'll reset the PoE connection and deliver power to that unit. So it can actually reset itself. And it also has an extension mode for ports one and two, where if you need a little extra power for those two particular ports, because whatever you're plugging in is quite a distance away, you can throw that switch and it'll deliver extra power to those ports as well. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit 
And again, I'll show you all the connections and indicators. And then I'll come back one more time and remind you of the features that you should be considering when you compare this to other products you might be thinking that are good alternatives. The product features a full metal enclosure, which means it's going to be incredibly durable. A lot of switches on the market use a plastic enclosure, which over time it's going to get scratched and cracked, so I like that this is heavy duty. You'll also find ventilation on both sides of the cabinet, and that allows any heat that develops during operation to escape to keep the electronics comfortable inside. On the front of the unit, you'll find eight LAN ports. Each of these are one gig E, so you've got really fast connections. They're all PoE enabled, and that's important because a lot of switches may only provide PoE to the first four. All eight of these are live with PoE. On the left-hand side, you'll find a power indicator. Once you add power to the unit, it'll start an internal power on self-test to make sure everything is working. It's also gonna check for connections on all of the eight ports, and once it passes that, that LED will come on letting you know it's ready to use. Below that is another indicator labeled PoE Max. This unit can provide additional power to these first two ports if you need it. So say for example, you've got a camera that's quite a distance away from the switch. You can turn that on and I'll show you the switch in the back in a minute. And that delivers more power to these ports, which means you can have a longer run of cable and still get the power you need at the peripheral end. On the bottom, you'll find a couple of slots cut into it so you can mount this on a wall, you can hang it on a couple of nails or a couple of screws. On the rear of the unit, you'll find a lock port. If you uh, are in an office that you've got a shared space and you're worried about somebody running off with your switch, you can lock it to your desk. To the right of that are two switches. The first one is the extend switch, and that's the one you'll turn on if you need extra power on port one or two. I would normally leave that off unless I really had to plug something in that was quite a distance away. And then the one on the right is called recovery. This unit can actually reset the connection between the switch and that peripheral. So if you've got a camera on your roof and somehow over the winter it gets a little flaky and the connection gets broken, if you have this turned on, the switch will actually reestablish that handshake and send that PoE power to that peripheral. So I would leave this one off normally unless I needed extra power and I would leave that one on. And then finally to the right of that is a DC input port and that's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that into a wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it which plugs in right there and provides all the power you'll need for the switch. Really nice unit, plug and play, really easy to use. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing this TP-Link PoE switch with other products you may be considering. The first thing has to do with the number of ports. This product is a really simple switch that provides eight 1 gig E PoE ports. All eight of those ports can provide power externally to peripherals. And the reason that's important is because other PoE switches on the market that may have eight ports may only provide power for four of those ports, which means you really can't use all eight ports for plugging in external peripherals that require that PoE functionality. So knowing you've got eight ports that are gig E each, and they provide power to whatever peripheral you plug in, means you can use all eight ports. Another big difference is this unit has an extension mode on it where port one and two, you can flip a switch and it'll provide extra power to those two ports. And again, that's great if you've got a camera located a couple of hundred feet away from the switch, most switches can't provide power that far away because you've got loss in the line. So this one, you can flip the switch, port one and two get that extra power so you can plug something in that's quite a ways away. Another big difference is this switch has auto recovery for PoE. And that can happen if one of your peripherals for some reason blinks out Normally a switch can't recover that. You've got to turn the switch off, turn it back on, a handshake with that peripheral. With this one, if you lose that connection, even for a microsecond, the switch will automatically reconnect and send the power back to that device. So that's really nice. And the last thing I'll mention is the power the switch provides. Now, that's something you really should pay attention to. This unit can provide a total of 65 watts of power to all those peripherals combined. It can also provide up to 30 watts of power to individual ports as needed. And the reason that's important, again, is because of the distance you're running these wires. You may have a security camera on the peak of your roof over by the garage and another one on this side of the house. You're quite a distance away from the switch, so knowing you've got plenty of power to reach those distances really means you can plug all almost anything into this and not have to worry about that power over cable technology. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit and with a few simple connections you can be up and running in no time. So I like this unit an awful lot. It's small, it's plug and play, it's inexpensive, and it has all the features that I care about in an 8 port PoE switch. So thanks an awful lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and until next time as always, <laughs> stay nerdy.